Block Categories The blocks in Sprite are divided into different categories based on their functions. In most of these blocks, you can change the value in the block to suit your script. Motion, Looks, Sound, Events, Control, Sensing, Operators, Variables, My Blocks. Motion Blocks The blocks that are used to control the movement of a sprite are known as motion blocks. They are blue in color. Some of the commonly used motion blocks are Move 10 steps blocks lets the sprite move forward in the direction it is facing the number of steps given in the text box in the block. When we write the value with a minus sign, the sprite moves backward. For example, move minus 10 steps. Turn 15 degrees block lets the sprite turn in clockwise direction by the given degrees and turn 15 degrees block turns sprite in anti-clockwise direction by the given degrees. To make a sprite jump to a new position on the stage, use go to x0, y0 block. This block gives the x and y position of the sprite on the stage. Use go to mouse pointer to tell the sprite to follow one of the two given options. The mouse pointer or a random position. If on edge bounce block makes the sprite flip over if it touches the edge of the screen. Set rotation style left right block is used to set the rotation style of a sprite. The options to choose from are left, right, all around and don't rotate. Looks block. The blocks in purple color are looks blocks. They control how a sprite appears on stage. Use the say hello for two seconds block to add a speech bubble to the sprite for the given time in seconds. Say hello block adds a speech bubble to the sprite with the given text. The speech bubble will continue to appear until another speech or thought block is activated or the stop button is pressed. Think hmm for two seconds adds a thought bubble to the sprite with the given text for the given time in seconds. Think hmm shows a thought bubble with the given text. The bubble will continue to appear until another speech or thought block is activated or the stop button is pressed. Show and hide shows and hides the sprite on the stage. Change color effect by 25 changes the sprite according to the selected effect. The seven effects are color, Fisheye, Whirl, Pixelate, Mosaic, Brightness and Ghost. Clear Graphic Effects block will reset any graphical effects on the sprite. They will be reset to their default value 0. Sound block. Sound blocks are in pink color. They control sound functions. We can add music to our Scratch project by using sound blocks. You can even record your voice and save it. You can play it with a sprite. Start sound, meow, block plays a sound without pausing the script. The sound options are meow or recorded sound. Play sound meow until done block plays the sound by pausing the script until the sound has finished playing. The sound options are meow or any recorded sounds. To stop all sounds being played on all sprites, use stop all sounds block. Clear sound effects block clears all existing sound effects. Events block. 
An event is a happening which occurs due to some other things that happened before it. So events block actually control how the blocks in a script will start to run if a particular action is done. Events blocks controls events and the starting of scripts. They are yellow in color. When green flag clicked blocked activates the script when the green flag or go button is clicked. When space key pressed block activates the script when the chosen key is pressed. You can choose from the given keys or you can choose the option any. When the sprite clicked block activates the script when you click the sprite. Control block. They have looping blocks which are used when the same blocks have to be repeated for a number of times. The most commonly used control blocks are Wait 1 seconds block pauses the running of the script for the number of seconds given in the block. You can use this block when to move or speak blocks are coming one after the other. The repeat block repeats a set of blocks for a given number of times. This block is also used to draw shapes where we have to give the same blocks again and again for a number of times. The forever block keeps on repeating a set of blocks till the stop button is clicked. This block is similar to repeat block and expands automatically to accommodate the blocks you snap inside it.